make, let's make the Grinch. Now there's a couple ways you can make this Grinch. I'm gonna show you how to do it this way and I think we'll probably have time to do another style of Grinch at the end if you like. This is really simple. This is just a, a green round or a green linking balloon and a 260 on the bottom, a 260 for the fur on the hat, which is also making this ball and the red hat. So again, we're gonna start out by making our base. I mean, really, it takes no time to make these um, balloon sculptures. And, you know, to me, my uh, philosophy is just make it quick and cute. Um, your customer is going to think you're amazing. Okay, so here's the base. We're going to take a green round. Now I'm going to show you how to make a linking balloon out of a round in case you don't have a linking balloon. So what you want to do is you want to create a raisin. So not any, any way that you can get a raisin. And you want to have a 260 scrap. I think 260s work better as a scrap to pull on than a 160. A 160 is sometimes too weak. So, what we're going to do is we're going to inflate this, over inflate it so that you can make it softer, and we're going to give it about this shape here. Now, the reason why you want it um, deflated a little bit is because we are going to do a reverse raisin. So, I like using raisins, and I usually remember to put them in there, but let's say you forget, and you don't want to waste this balloon. So what you can do, I'm known for saying that, is you're going to take the top of your balloon where you want the raisin, and um, what you're going to do is you're going to press it into the balloon, and just grab some balloon and then carefully twist that so that you're encompassing that raisin, and then start twisting a piece of scrap. Um, if you're not good at this, um, oops, I just lost my razor. Let me see if I can capture that. Let's see. I'm sorry. Let's see. Got to try that again. I usually put my raisins inside. So it takes a little bit of practice, but you're going to grab that balloon, twist that around, capture it, and then twist this around the balloon so that you're getting on the bottom side. Oops, it keeps flipping on that. Well, let me see here. Of course, it's always more difficult to teach something live than when you're actually doing it. But let's see if I can do this. Nope, it slipped out. Okay, I'm not doing a very good job of showing you this, unfortunately, but um, I think you understand what I mean, and I'm just trying to show you, so. Um, also, if you want to see where the end of the balloon is, usually where it's darkest is where it's going to be your center of your balloon. Okay, so wrap that around. Okay, I think I've got that good. All right, now wrap it around good. Hold it. And then pull this through. Okay, so you can see there that I've got this secured air area here. And the reason why I need this is because I need that attachment part for my hat. So now I've got that, I can secure this balloon into 
my flower bed. And, you know, there's no like, oh, you gotta do this or that next and so forth. You know, it's just constructing it. So we're gonna go ahead and add his mouth area to the balloon. So blow it up however you want. Um, you know, when you're making multiples, think about how you can be using your balloons to create multiple pieces out of the same balloon. So save your scraps. We're just going to fit that around the head so that it's snug, not too big, not too tight, and tie that off. Okay, so we've got his head constructed. We're going to go ahead and make his hat now. So, uh, anyways, we're going to finish off this hat here. So I'm adding a piece of red to it, doing that as it, tie that into a square knot. Okay. Now the hat can be as big as you want. There's this is like so loose you don't have to make it any particular size. You know, maybe three inches tall. And we're going to go ahead and this off. All right. Now we're going to add our white fluff to the hat. Again, you can get multiple balloons constructed out of the same balloon and balloon scraps. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and make a ball for the for the hat. This part here. And all we're going to do is just make a loop. And throw that. So we're going to slip this through the hat there and then tie this to. these together. There we go. Slip that back through. There you go. And we'll put that there like this. Simple. Now we're ready for the face. Okay, so I love these transfer stickers because it's just so easy. I'm not handling little bits and pieces. It's stable. I'm just gonna pull these stickers off. Again, just use your little your fingers, fingernails just to help ease any pieces that get stuck to the backing paper. Okay, so Again, you're just going to lightly eyeball it. Um, I'm going to put on the uh, scowl for his first, and then if and then also his nose with it down on the lower part. It goes like that, and I can ease this off to help allow for the looseness that was there. So I have never had a sticker pop a balloon, so you never have to worry about that. And so sometimes because this is curved surface here, you, you might have to play a little bit with the, uh, sometimes with where the placement is, it just because it's, it's gotta conform to there. All right, and then you can either cut off the excess or you can just bend this up so it's not sticky on, uh, I'm just trying to protect it from being so sticky on there. And then I'm just going to place my eyes wherever I want. And then again, peel that away. Just 
like that. 